Welcome to this tutorial on how to calculate the maximum allowable span for a timber floor. In this video, we will be given a floor that uses 50 mm wide by 150 mm deep timber joists spaced at 600 mm centers with a strength class of 16. Our goal is to determine the maximum span that this floor can support given that it must withstand a permanent action on the floor of 0.5 kN per square meter and a variable action on the floor of 1.5 kN per square meter. To begin, we must calculate the design load by adding the factored permanent and variable actions on the floor, which results in a design load of 2.925 kN per square meter. Next, we need to determine the load per meter on each joist. This is done by multiplying the design load by 0.6, resulting in a load of 1.755 kN per meter on each joist. To calculate the bending moment for a simply supported floor joist with a uniformly distributed load, we can multiply the load W by the length of the floor joist L squared and divide the result by 8. In this case, the bending moment is 1.755 times A squared divided by 8. To determine the elastic section of a beam with a rectangular cross-section, we can multiply the width B by the height, H squared, and divide the result by 6. In this case, the elastic section is 50 times 150 squared divided by 6, which equals 187,500 cubic millimeters. The design bending stress is determined by considering strength modification factors and partial safety factors for material strength. For the purpose of this example, we will use class 1 medium term to refer to the load applied to the inside of the structure. This results in a design bending stress of 0.8 times the strength grade of 16 divided by the partial safety factor for material strength, which is 1.3 for timber. This results in a design bending moment of 9.85 newtons per square millimeter. We can calculate the bending moment by multiplying the design bending stress, 9.85 newtons per square millimeter, by the elastic section, 187,500 cubic millimeters. This results in a bending moment of 1,846,000. 154 newton millimeters or 1.85 kilonewtons meter. Finally, to determine the maximum allowable simply supported span for our timber floor, we can equate the values of the bending moment by multiplying 1.85 by 8 and setting it equal to the product of 1.755 and the span squared. Solving this equation gives us a span of 2.9 meters as the maximum allowable, simply supported span for our timber floor. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thank you for watching.